Hi guys, today I'm back with another Dollarama haul. This one is a little bit smaller than the last one I did. I absolutely raided the makeup section. Um, so I've got reviews and swatches in that haul. So I will link to that down below. But I noticed that they've come out with a few new products. So I wanted to pick them up. Dollarama is a Canadian dollar store. Any of the products range from like one to five dollars at a true dollar store. Um, but they have some kind of more regular drugstore makeup brands there. But then they've also got their own in-house makeup brand called Mariposa. I think it's only sold at Dollarama. I'm not totally sure. Um, in my previous Dollarama haul, I made the mistake of saying that they were made in Canada. They are not. Um, the actual company is based out of Vancouver, British Columbia, but the products themselves in tiny little letters says made in PRC, which means People's Republic of China. Anyways, these products are super affordable, really easy to grab, and I'm always curious to test them out to see if there's any good finds in there. So let's get started. So the first items that caught my eye are these little mini eyeshadow palettes. Um, I tested out some of their eyeshadows previously and they were okay. Um, so I was interested to try these ones. They come in little quads. So there's five eyeshadows in each quad and you get three of them. They've got a variety of different shades, but these were the ones that seemed to appeal to me the most. So the one I'm wearing on my eyes today is this kind of like goldy rusty one. Obviously this is gonna be the one I'm reaching for. It is why I purchased it. Um, the shadows in here are okay. Definitely better with the base. You can use them wet, but I find with a lot of shadows like this, the kind of lower quality, um, near kind of kids makeup status, they look really great when you swatch them, but when you actually get them on, their, on your eyes and try to blend them, they all kind of like mush into one. So I'm wearing, I think three or four different shades on my eyes right now, but it really only looks like I'm wearing probably two different eyeshadows. They are all shimmery, there's no matte in here, but no real glitter either. Then you also get this kind of deeper quad. This one is okay, the black is actually decent in here, a little bit of cooler tones in here, and then the purple one is is a bit of a miss for me. Purples I feel like are really tricky um, for cosmetic companies. I don't know what it is about the color purple, but purple is always a little bit dicey. So this one for me was a pretty big miss, but the other two are okay. Um, nothing to call home about. I still think Wet n Wild or Elf, you can get better shadows from there. But if you are curious, if you're new to makeup, if you've got like a cousin who's like, you know, 12, 13, and they want to test things out, I think that these are totally fair. Next up are their matte lip glosses, which is a total oxymoron, but a lot of companies do it. Gloss and matte are the opposite thing. I don't know why nobody realizes that. But anyways, I was so excited to test these out. They come in packs of three, and I picked up two of them. Um, I was gonna pick up their lip glosses, but they were like kind of sparkly, and I knew I wasn't actually gonna wear them, and I knew that if these were a win, it was gonna be a huge win. So I'm actually wearing two of them on my lips today. They don't actually have names on them. I'm wearing this kind of nudie one mixed with this peach one. I absolutely love the color, but I don't know if you can see. They're kind of sticky and they kind of say sticky all day. I wore this one to work um, last week. I put it on in the morning, probably 7.30, and then even at night, it was still on my lips. I didn't touch up, I didn't put on a bomb because I really, really wanted to see how it lasted throughout the day. It never really set. It did kind of transfer a little bit on my coffee cup. It did always stay a little bit sticky, but the color was there. It felt a little bit dry on my lips, so I'm kind of torn about this because they're like basically a dollar each. The formula is quite thin. Um, you do need to build it up. I'm wearing it also with a lip liner today to kind of like build up the pigment and make the colors work a little bit better on my lips. So I don't know. I really, I don't mind these like kind of nudie colors. I think that I actually would wear them. Um, this really hot pink one here is pretty crap. It is super thin formula, near pos impossible to get opaque. And a nude color, if it doesn't go totally opaque, it's fine. But like you cannot walk around with like patchy, hot pink, sticky lips. So that was kind of a bit of a miss for me. Um, the deeper colors are definitely better. The orange is pretty good. Um, along with these two deeper pinky reds. So I think that they're okay. I don't think that like if you are a huge makeup connoisseur and you love very expensive high-end makeup or you know, you're shopping at beauty boutiques, you're shopping at Sephora, department stores, like these are not gonna cut it. But if you are looking to try out um, new colors, if you just love to experiment with makeup, test things out like myself, play with color and all that good stuff, I think that these are totally okay. And they're so cheap and it's fun when you're at Dollarama to like just shop around and buy a bunch of things. That's how I am when I'm at Dollarama. I always do a bunch of shopping in each aisle and like just pick up random stuff and it's pretty low risk. So I've gotta say that I think that these are okay. Definitely not the best. You can definitely find good liquid lipsticks out there for um, a cheap price, not a dollar each, but I think they're okay. 
I then picked up their No UV Light Needed uh, Gel Nail Polishes. I haven't tried any of their nail polishes before. This comes with three nail polishes in here, so you get kind of a minty green, a light blue, a cream, and then the top coat. Um, $3 for four nail polishes, again, a great deal. These are only mini, but I don't buy mini nail polishes because it is a very rare occasion that I actually finish a colored nail polish. I think I've done it once, maybe twice, besides like the ones that have dried up. Um, I like the brush on these. I think the formula is good. I posted a picture of in, on Instagram of this um, kind of light blue one. I was also wearing it in my five minute makeup challenge and maybe the video I posted just before or after that. So if you see me wearing like kind of a brighter blue nails, that's what I'm wearing. I really liked it. I thought that they had decent wear time, no worse than um, any of my other polishes that kind of have like, you know, a two, three day wear time. My nail polish chips very easily with the exception of the Essie Gel Coutures. Those are awesome. But my problem with this was it took way too long to take off. I don't know if it was the top coat or what it was, but it took forever to get off. I went through so many cotton pads. It was such a hassle. I don't know if it's worth it. I do, however, love this blue color, but I've got other blue colors like it. Um, that being said, I think that they're okay. I think they're good. If you're using acetone to remove your nail polish, maybe it wouldn't be as tricky, um, but I think that they're decent. Three, $3 for four nail polishes, pretty good. The biggest win that I came across is this makeup remover cloth. This was $2 um, and you get this kind of long cloth, very reminiscent of the uh, makeup remover cloth. I also re uh, reviewed the Sephora makeup remover kind of reusable cloth, very soft. I'm guessing it is microfiber, I don't know. It even tells you here, ultra soft makeup remover cloth, gentle on skin, machine washable and reusable. Um, I really, really, really like this. I just got another makeup remover cloth, so I think I'm gonna put it to the test against this one and the Sephora version. So if you'd like to see kind of like a battle of the reusable makeup remover cloths, let me know down below. But just like before I even get to that, sorry, it's dirty. I washed it and I've used it, but it kind of gets stained. <laughs> That's the problem with it being blue is it like will look dirty forever. But overall, if you are out and you see this, grab it. I am so impressed. It is so nice to have for travel. Keep it by your sink for makeup remover. Um, that way you're not getting your own towels and face cloths dirty because um, I know that I'm very guilty of that and I get in a lot of trouble for getting makeup all over everything. So this is one new way to try and keep my makeup off of everything in my house. And then lastly, I wanted to mention this. I didn't pick this up on a, most, on a more recent trip to Dollarama, but they have these little um, lipstick cases. I've got my um, Maybelline The Loaded Bolds in here. I've got probably five or six of these. They cost two or three dollars. You can keep nine lipsticks in here. Um, I kept them out of my vanity for a little while, but I recently kind of reorganized my makeup collection and now they're in my Alex 9 drawer. They sit really nicely inside the drawer. They look great and you can keep um, nail polish, sorry, not nail really thin nail polishes in here, I guess. You can keep lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and I think that they're just really handy and makeup storage can be really expensive and hard to track down. Um, so I just wanted to mention that these are at Dollarama, even if you're not really interested in buying Dollarama makeup, they do have some good storage items there um, and I cannot recommend these enough. So that is all the new goodies that I have tracked down from Dollarama. Let me know down below if you enjoy this type of video and if you have found any good gems at Dollarama or Dollar Tree, your local dollar store, um, let me know down below because I love finding good makeup deals. Um, be sure to check out my previous Dollarama haul, which I will link to down below. And if you would like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.